A welcome back viewers to our third installment of our Dusty survival series on FS22. In this episode, I badly offend Dusty, but hopefully make up for it near the end. So stick around to see what happens. If you enjoy this content, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of the next episode. If you've got a question for Dusty, drop it in the comments below and we'll ask him on the next episode. And if you've got any ideas on how we might generate an income at this early stage of the series, again, drop a note in the comments below. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get going. Good morning, Dusty. How's life treating you? I gotta say, it's getting cold out here. Sleeping in my truck ain't quite as nice as I thought it would be. Yeah, I know, Dusty. That's something we're definitely going to have to resolve sooner rather than later. Okay, but we got some hard graft in front of us. Yeah, that's right. But I'm here to help you out, buddy. Anything you need. So the first thing we're going to purchase is our mower. And the cheapest one we can pick up right now is the Gaspardo. And that is two and a half thousand pounds. 2.4 meters. We have an option of mechanical lifting or hydraulic lifting here for an extra 500. That will make it a cool three grand. Let's just have a look at the design colors, yellow. So that's changing the little cap just there. I think that's looking good. Attach a type Fiat or standard. I think we'll leave it as standard and let's purchase. Oh yes, this is perfect timing. The Massey Ferguson. So the small baler is 75, no, sorry, 65% off seven and a half thousand pounds. We can afford that and still have change. Oh, I don't think there's any reason not to go for this. I'm very excited. We are definitely going to be doing something with grass today. Purchase that one. Well, I don't see anything else that we want to pick up right now. So I'm going to head over here and pick up the equipment. We're gonna to have to do a couple of runs, but I think that'll be absolutely fine. Say, Dusty, I wanted to ask you, where are you from originally? Why, what do you mean? Well, I, I just, you know. Spit it out, computer guy. Well, it's just your accent sometimes a bit mixed up. You don't want to get on the wrong side of me. No, 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 I'm not, I'm just saying- Listen, I'm a figment of your damn imagination. If you can't work it out, then what chance have I got? Forget I said anything. Yeah, you better just shut your mouth. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Let's just forget I said anything. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have, uh, pretty seriously offended Rusty there. I think I'm just gonna leave him alone and let him, uh, quieten down a bit. Now we're almost where we want to be. Looking on our map, our grassy field is here. You can just about see the edge of it there and down there. So we're gonna wind down this piece of road and then we'll meet up with the back of our piece of land that Dusty owns. And then we can, well, we can get everything unloaded and start to have a look at the grass situation. It's a lovely October day. So we are in our third month, October. The temperature is absolutely gonna start dropping soon. I need to have the conversation properly with Dusty about how we're going to keep him warm. And we're gonna to have to get some money so that we can actually purchase the guy somewhere to live. But that's uh, an issue for maybe the next few hours. Right now, this is our meadow in effect. Let's hop off and take a look. Uh, we've got the small baler and the mower. I think we'll drop the trailer up near those rocks. We'll come down, we'll pick up the mower, and then we can start to determine quite how this is going. We haven't got a wind blower. We can't create nice channels to pick up. So I just want to do a test and see. Oh, I'm really struggling up this hill. A test and see just how easy it will be to pick up the grass without having to wind row it first. Okay, we're all attached. Let's just check everything so we can lower. That's looking good. Okay, and we can get going. Let's bring up our mini map. So we own all of this land immediately in front of us and 
to the left of us so we can come from right down there there's a fair whack to do I'm gonna just do a strip right in the middle here and just see how easy it is to pick this up That's done a, a fairly decent job. Sorry dear, off you go. Right, let's get ourselves aligned. And then we can see just how effective this is going to be. I, I do feel we're going to want to windrow, but right now we haven't got the funds. Let's have a look. It may be wide enough, it is fairly wide. So we'll unfold. Get us started. Drop the pickup. That is going to work an absolute dream. That's better than I ever expected. That is brilliant. Okay, we're on for grass. We're just hopping into drone cam here. You can see the area that we can work. We'll keep it within those trees, we'll come round, curve it round a bit like a kidney, come all the way down, keep right to the edge of the road, and then I think we'll just cut nicely down where those trees are there. And that's a fair patch. I believe we've got the land up to the road, so the land this side of the road is not available to us. But looking at what we're looking at here, and looking at the size of the tractor, that looks like a decent bit of land to start mowing. So, let's get right on with it. I feel a time lapse coming on. So Dusty, are you excited? You're damn right I am. done. Dusty's finished that whole field and I think he's done a fantastic job. I think it's time we dropped off the reciprocal mower. There we go, it's folded and then we can pick up the baler and get some bales created. The tractor really does struggle up some of these inclines it must be said but it's doing a perfectly acceptable job for now with our budgetary restrictions. It's 12.50, we've just hitched up the baler. I wonder how quickly we can get this done. I'll be very interested to see how much we can get for a, uh, a trailer load of bales. Now we've got that trailer and we've also got the truck and this might be a good opportunity to use the truck and strap everything down. But we'll see how we get on with this first. Let's unfold the baler. So boot it up and pick up Sawdy down and let's get her going. Certainly not the most efficient way to do this job. Obviously if we had windrowed it then everything would be nicely packed into one quick row but it's got quite a wide pickup and no wider or less wider should I say than the actual width of the mower so it's fine. It's spitting out bales as we go at quite a nice pace. I think we're going to absolutely cover this field of bales by the time we're done. Ah, that's beautiful. The sun's just breaking over the tops of the mountains again. It's been quite dark down here in the valley behind the mountains for the last maybe hour or so. Right, while Dust is working on the field, I'm going to pick up his pickup and we'll head over and start to load up some bales and I think we'll just take a load over to I think it was the animal farm was that right and uh, we'll just see what we can actually get for them I need to remember the way now, was it up there
Right, Dusty is loaded. And that strap at the back is very precariously caught on the corner of that bale. How long do we think that's actually going to stay there? Well, by all accounts, that is secure. So Dusty is going to run this over to the farm and sell the grass, and we'll just see how much we get. Are you happy to do that, Dusty, and I'll meet you back here? Yeah, that's cool by me. I'm just having a quick look at what grass is selling for at the moment. It's selling for... 45 pounds at the animal dealer and that's where we're heading to so we'll just get over there now back over the railway bridge turn right no traffic and here we go just take the straps off and 448 pounds wow that is somewhat disappointing for the effort that we've had to put into. Okay, ah, I do feel that logging is a more lucrative venture right now, but we've got a whole field. Let's do the whole field and see what we end up with. Hey, uh, Dusty, can you uh, just shut the engine off a second? Sure, what's the problem? I've got something to show you. Okay. Don't worry, you sound a bit unsure. You're gonna like this. Okay, boss. If you say so. Let's head up to the truck and uh, I'll drive you over. So what do you think, hey Dusty? I thought it's time you had your own home. Oh shucks, you ain't oughta have gone and done that. Do you want to take a look inside? Yeah, yeah I think I do. I don't know what to say. And I even, uh, I bought you a small carport. You should be able to stick your truck under here and probably even your tractor as well. You know, that's just the ticket. I don't recollect no folks ever been this nice to me before. I gotta say, computer guy, thank you very much. You're a true friend. Well, Dusty's jumped straight back on the tractor. He knows his work to do. I think he's very happy. I think perhaps he doesn't know how to show his emotion, but that's just the kind of guy I think he is. Starting to really get to uh, see a nice side of Dusty. He's a real nice fella. And lower in the sky, so we're just gonna head back to the sawmill with this load of logs and get a little bit of cash in hand because I've just noticed there is a windrower available in the sales. I hadn't noticed it before because it was off to the right of the list and I didn't bother scrolling across. So I'm heading back there, we're going to pick up the windrower and I think that will just make the grass process just that little bit easier, that little bit quicker. Well, I'm nearly at the sawmill. I feel uh, very familiar with this place, I must admit. I do you seem to spend an awful lot of time here? But right now it really is the most lucrative way to make money, however... I have just had a thought on the way over. Let's just sell this first. Nice. On the way over, I thought, okay, well, I can pick up the windrower. That's great. We now have 6,000. And I thought, well, what else could we actually use to generate income? Well, why don't we stick a greenhouse up? We can very easily purchase a small greenhouse for 3,000, and that should just start to generate income. Right across to the right hand side is the top 342 windrower with a 45% discount. Uh, so yeah, there's nothing that we can add to this. So let's just purchase. And there she is over there. So we'll pick this up and we'll go and drop this off and just get a little bit of windrowing done. And I think 
next month we'll get the builders in and we'll erect a new greenhouse. Unfold her. Clickety click. All right, and let's get that underway. And away we go. Beautiful. I think that's going to work just fine. Lovely view of the sun coming down through the trees. Well, that's everything. All wind road. Fantastic job there. I think we can then go and pick all this up and get the bales ready. And then I'm not too fussed then if we get those all shipped off in one hit. They can just sit as storage. While Dusty's working there, the one thing that I would like to pick up is the Flegel DPW-180. It's a great little mod. Uh, whether or not modding, uh, yeah, I'm in two minds, is that cheating? I don't know. Someone tell me in the comments if that's cheating a survival series. The next thing I'm very much in the market for, and I'm sure you agree, Dusty, is a new tractor. This is a great tractor. But sadly, it is slow and it is a bit underpowered. It is struggling to get up this hill. And it's just, yeah, again, another thing which is just making everything feel so much slower than it would normally be. Now, that is the nature of survival. We are playing this way to experience the hard life. But I just feel we've got money in the bank. We know we can pick up two three grand every time we fell a decent sized tree so let's start making the other elements of this process just that bit nicer well that was a fairly uh, arduous journey but we are here now it's ten past five I think we'll get these last few bits done and I will consider that to be a very productive day Okay, well, we're on our way to drop this trailer off and replace it with a new one. And I'm, I'm hoping we've got enough cash. We should have. I think this is going to sell for about six, uh, plus the seven we've already got. We only need 11. 11,000 spent on new vehicles. I didn't quite see um, what we actually sold the previous one for. Let's go down to our finances and take a quick look. We sold it for, sold vehicle 6,633. So today we are operating at a loss. Well, it's 20 to six in the evening. I feel that we've had a productive day. We've got lots of things on and underway. Grass is cut, we've started to bale it. We can finish baling tomorrow, haul everything up. And yeah, I think the weather's definitely gonna get colder in November. Dusty's got his lovely little shack and look at the view he's got out of his window. Amazing. Thank you for joining us today. Like and subscribe, leave your questions for Dusty and any thoughts on how we might progress in our survival series in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Take care.